Well, it is back to school time, and with all the excitement and busy schedules, sometimes it's easy to overlook some of the details. Here with some back to school tips is Dr. Vanitha Mupin from Wellspan Family and Pediatric Medicine in Rossville. All right, good morning, Dr. Mupin. Yeah, back to school time. A lot of people get excited because there's a lot of excitement surrounding it. You get to go back, see your friends, but I know there's uh, sometimes there's some stressors involved. So what can families do to kind of make that process easier? I think, you know, also it's, it's important to, it's those transition times. So first day of kindergarten, first day of middle school, first day of high school are usually your most stressed time. So taking advantage of orientation days, taking advantage of being able to just go around the classroom, get used to where they're going to be, meet their teacher, you know, if they have um, separate learning plans to make sure that those are in place as well. And maybe getting together with a classmate or, you know, a friend from last year and getting used to the idea of going back to school. Ahead of time, before they actually yes. like, plan a little play date. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. That's so, great. Yep. I don't know, uh, sometimes the kids get excited. Obviously, they get new, new backpacks, but sometimes backpacks can. We did a story on it recently. There's a lot to think of because the backpacks can be heavy. Yes, so usually they are. Um, so I would recommend a like a good padding on the shoulders, good padding on the back. The heaviest thing should go in the center of the backpack, and once it's full, it should kind of sit at the waistline um, and should never be flung around just one shoulder. Yeah. It should be on both because um, the one shoulder can lead to things like scoliosis and back problems. So obviously when the kids are home for the school year, I mean for the summer, uh, as a parent you can monitor what they're eating, making sure they're, mm -hmm. they're getting proper nutrition. When they go back to school, yeah, you send them off with their, with their lunch, maybe they're getting uh, lunch at school. Let's talk nutrition. Uh, how important is that? So breakfast is so very important. Um, having a proper breakfast, not something like a Pop-Tart, not you know, not simple sugars, just making sure there's protein. So maybe a smoothie, getting it ready the night before, just takes two minutes to make in the morning and, you know, something like that. Something with some protein is what's really, really important to be able to concentrate, to be able to, you know, stay awake, to be able to do the things they need to do in school. Um, the other thing is lunch, you know, looking ahead to see what the school offers. If they don't like that, then planning to take something from home. If the children get free or reduced lunch, you know, to also take advantage of those things as well. But proper nutrition is key to doing your best in school. You did mention it, that a lot of the school districts offer those free or reduced lunches. Mm -hmm. Some even do breakfast now, so that's right. really important. Right. Uh, last thing I want to touch on is the uh, transportation, getting to and from school, right. whether you walk, you take a bus, there's some things that parents need to keep in mind. So the bus, just make sure the kids are, are aware of where the stop is, making sure the bus stops before the kids get on. You know, yes, they have those signals for the people to stop at bus stops, but in case, just make sure that they're looking around the bus before they cross the street. For cars, make sure they're in a proper you know, car seat. Um, kids under 12 or 13 should not be in the front seat. Uh, make sure they have proper seat belt, sitting in the proper booster. Um, and then walking to school, they shouldn't be alone walking to school until they're about nine to 11 years old. So yeah, just making sure that the, the safety is in place. We're gonna have to have you back to talk about parents too, because I'm gonna take my kid to preschool. I think he's gonna be fine once we drop him off. <laughs> Me as a parent, I've already taken off. I, gotta, I don't know how I'm gonna handle it, but right. I know a lot of people are concerned and a lot of people uh, are just really excited about the school year. Thank you so much for coming in and, and giving us these tips. Hey, if your child needs to be seen by a doctor at Wellspan, we have info on how to do that and how to make an appointment on our website, fox43.com. Dr. Mupin, thanks again for coming in. Absolutely.